Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we are going to actually be featuring battles from the end of last season when a season 12 Musa were released early and this trainer was able to do some battles in and around the legend rank. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. The team is pretty interesting. Uh, Steelix with Dragon Tails, Psychic Fang and Crunch is that EQ. Uh, uh, Buzzwall with Counter, Lunge and Superpower and then uh, uh, Galarian Weezing with Fairy Wind play rough and overheat let's go ahead and get started um and see how these matches go ultra league is my most favorite league so uh let's see okay gonna pick up a um, ghost jellicent okay <laughs> all right very weird angle to the battle what the heck is this uh okay now we're back to the proper angle here uh gonna get hit by the shadow ball it does a pretty decent amount of damage uh, this is a favorable matchup for Steelix, especially when it's running Crunch. They actually end up shielding. Uh, good enough CMP tie. Uh, let's see if this could be another Shadow Ball. Okay, it ends up being... Uh, the problem here is a lot of times it's Needle Queen in the back line, so it's going to be pretty tough if it is. Um, okay, this is likely another Shadow Ball. And we're going to see how this is going to play out. Going to throw the Psychic Fang here. Ooh, that's not great. I think you got to let it go, though. and uh, Maybe Fairy Wind down. It's probably the most viable play here. Might have to take another move. Okay, it doesn't have to take another move. Oh, it is Needle Queen here. That is uh, not great. Um, but maybe you can catch... Okay, gonna, okay. The over, overheat did a lot of damage there. Um, definitely let this go. Really no need to... Okay, gonna shield. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure what I was necessarily scared of there. Um, Scrafty, obviously a pretty common... Uh, honestly, the Needle Queen probably should have stayed. Um, but I guess, like, Scrafty really can't do too much to, uh, uh, Galarian Weezing. So this is a power-up punch. Probably just counter this down, to be honest. Yeah, you just counter this down. And then look to lunge the Needle Queen. Yeah, lunge the Needle Queen. Uh, this this game's over here. Uh, and then uh, could just switch here, depending on what the Needle Queen does. Okay, well, you definitely switch anyways. And then uh, it should just shield this. Uh, there's no way they can bait and make it to the to the earth power so this is a uh, absolutely game over here gonna be able to land the overheat and take out the needle queen actually losing the lead was actually the play there because it allowed uh allowed um the glaring wheezing to come out with some energy which was really critical all right nicely played first game against a pretty common team um problem here is like uh talon flame is like really problematic for this team extremely problematic for this team so we'll see if they face any talent flames it is wall rain here uh this is an okay matchup okay gonna throw the psychic fang right before they get to an eq they're at eight now they one more for the eq uh and uh, we'll see whether or not they go for the eq or they go for the bait they do go for the eq and then uh, we will see here. Going to throw another Psychic Fang. Uh, Wall Rain will be able to easily tank this. They're at five right now, so they need two more for the another EQ. Okay, tried to catch there. Going to be met by um, Trev. Okay, uh, Buzzwall has a negative matchup versus Trev, but it's not the worst, worst in the world here. So gonna let this go unlikely this one shadow ball will ko it'll do a lot of damage but lunge debuff very unlikely okay trying to cmp tie there the opponent electing not to go for the cmp tie does debuff this twice though which is really nice here i think you go steelix absorb the damage uh yeah should be able to easily take this move here it's definitely gonna be a shadow ball it actually does not do that much damage oh Question is, do they go for EQ or Icicle Spear here? They go for the Icicle Spear. Oof. Oof. Is this enough, though? Uh, we will find out. It is just an Icicle Spear. 
Okay, he doesn't want to make a decision on what to throw here. And they do throw, they do come into Trev. I think it makes sense to stay. I'll throw the nice second fang them. Yeah, this makes sense to stay. I don't know if the second fang is in, it should be enough. The Trev is pretty low here. It is. And you want to psychic fang this. Okay, gonna be good timing there. I think you just stay here, force it to throw. Okay, or, or switch here. That's that's fine too. Should be able to survive uh, Earth Power, even though it's super effective. This is Ultra League. Oh, they actually go for the Poison Fang first. Makes sense. Oh, just and able to win CMP there. The Needle Queen actually making the correct play. Uh, oh, yep. Yeah, okay, and this. Uh, Oh man, they survived the overheat even with the debuff there. Uh, the Neo Queen actually played that super well, to be honest. Uh, made the correct play. Um, uh, throwing the Poison Fang first, realizing the Earth Power wasn't going to KO. Okay, really, really nicely done. Interesting moveset. Uh, not, I, yeah. Um, Psychic Fang for sure. Um, I think Q is probably better, but because um, they, I don't think they've actually thrown a crunch here. This is actually a really good uh, lead here. They actually come into uh, Red Ice. Uh, nothing too worried here. Obviously, they can Blizzard. Uh, you just shield the next one after this. This is in one shot. Uh, it does a lot of damage. Gonna throw the Super Power. Makes sense. Give the Dragonite minimal farm. Then I think you just uh, super power this Dragonite. Let's see if, if they have Dragon Tail. Oh, they have Dragon Breath. Gun oh, not able to. Okay, going to go into Galarian Weezing. This is actually so nice here. This is actually kind of insane. Uh, this is actually kind of insane. Uh, uh, Galarian Weezing is like super oppressive versus... Uh, oh, here comes Regirock. Okay, wow. Okay. Pretty interesting team there. Uh, Dragonite uh, double Regis, but no Registeel. Oh man, Galarian Weezing when uh, Dragonite has superpower is absolutely could absolutely destroy it. So I'm curious to see whether or not we'll see more Dragonites in open uh, Ultra because of the superpower. Does make it pretty appealing, but superpower doesn't one shot Reggie, so it needs to land multiple. So uh, we'll see here. Okay, it picks up a very nice lead here. We'll see if the opponent decides to stay. Okay, they do not decide to stay. They come to Snorlax. Definitely let this go. Nothing too worried here. They throw the Body Slam. Ideally, you want to throw before they get to another one. Okay, really, really nice timing there. Especially since they over-farmed. And then, I'm going to look to lunge this... Uh, Honestly, it was actually better that they didn't lunge because it allowed them to go straight into um, Galarian Weezing. But this is okay too. Go straight into Galarian Weezing. Don't wait. No way in the clock out. And here comes Registeel. Gonna, gonna throw the overheat. Oh, they let it go. Uh, honestly, you're not, there's a Zapkin here. Uh, I think you just go for the crunch. This isn't one shot, right? They need two here to KO. Uh, they do land the focus blast. Gonna go for the psychic thing. I, I really don't like this play here, to be honest, because they're just going to switch. Oh, they actually end up shielding. Okay, well, I kind of ate my words there. Oh, they catch on Dragonite. Very nice play. Uh, but does this really matter? Because Dragonite's going to have to throw here. It's trying to get as little farm as possible. And they're going to superpower. Farm down. They're probably going to superpower. Oh, they actually Dragon Claw here. Okay, well, that was weird. That's a weird play. Um, they're going to crunch here. Honestly, I'd probably... I don't think it really matters here. Uh, yeah. It honestly probably was going to be a little bit better if they stayed or not. But uh, it doesn't really matter. You just throw the play rough here, and the opponent decides to leave. Wow. <laughs> Registeel leaving versus a fairy type. Um, you love to see it. Love to see it. All right. Let's 
Let's see. What's gonna happen here? All right. We have Felix versus. Oh my gosh, this is actually kind of a crazy lead here. And they come into Como. Oh man, Como is in such a poor position here. Everything is double resisted here. Man, this is gonna be. Man, fairy wind farm down. This is actually so brutal here. This is actually so brutal. Honestly, they should just. Uh, I guess they should just keep throwing dragon claws. Uh, double resisted here. Um, they'll reach another one. But man, this this uh, this. Uh, this wheezing is going to come out with a bajillion energy right now. They throw the dragon claw again. And then you do one and throw the overheat. Yeah, it makes sense. No need to bait. And then you do three and throw the overheat. One, two, three. Very nice timing. The opponent's going to look to farm down. I really, I really don't see. Oh, some lag here. Uh, Oh, okay, not able to make it to the overheat, but it doesn't look like it really mattered. Oh my gosh. Okay, well that's that's bad. Okay, and then here comes okay. Wow, okay, that is uh Oh man, that's bad. That's bad. Okay. They blaze kick here. And you just superpower it, makes sense. There's really no way they can win, right? There's no way, yeah. That does way too much damage. They're gonna have to you just let this go. Likely they lunge here. Let's see. Do they discharge? Oh, yeah. This is absolutely game over here. Going to throw the Psychic Fang just for the heck of it. Even if they have Energy Ball, uh, this is absolutely game over. Uh, they're just going to stall this matchup as long as possible. Uh, they lunge here. Wow, that did absolutely nothing. Um, they lunge again, presumably. Um and then gonna go for the crunch. Uh, it is one stage debuff because they're like it's technically two stage debuff, but the, the defense is dropped as well. So effectively, you one stage uh, debuffed. And um, yeah, nicely played, picking up a very nice five zero. And we have a oh okay, I forgot to include part two apparently. So let me do that uh, really quickly here. Uh, part two. All right, we are in the next set of matches here. And uh, we will see. Really want to see a Talon Flame. See how they play Talon Flame. Okay, Trev, Trev's a good one to play out too. Um, they will reach the Shadow Ball. Okay. Uh, this shouldn't be a CMP time unless the Trev lag there or they threw late. Uh, okay, it is CMP tie. That's very strange. Um, they end up shielding. Defense did fall, so they got the Psychic Fang. Uh, uh, I personally wouldn't shield here, but uh, let's see. Okay, gonna shield. Okay. Okay. Oh, here comes Swampert. Okay. I think throwing this crunch is a huge mistake. Um, but because uh, the Hydro is here really hurt. Uh, yeah, I don't know the value of throwing that crunch there. Okay, gonna lunge. They end up shielding. Gonna let this go. This shouldn't KO. Uh, they'll have to throw another Hydro to take out this Buzzwall. Okay, this is actually totally fine here. You let this go. And then I think you uh, Fairy Wind down. Or you could Steelix down, but I think Fairy Wind down makes more sense. Uh, this hydro here gonna shield it is uh debuffed hydro but still does a lot oh here comes oh i don't think you need to overheat here but uh let's see let's this will definitely be enough but i think a play rough would have been enough there but okay oh, this is absolutely game over here okay gonna catch i don't know what move this is i guess i guess a pup they're gonna pup here uh they foul play doesn't really matter here uh, the fairy one's definitely gonna be more than enough to take out the Scrafty. They're going to go to 100 here. Leave themselves uh, two away from uh, uh, another... Um... Actually, no, play rough 65 energy. I'm talking about. Now they're going to overheat. 
You're going to overheat the Swamper, and this is a, definitely a GG. I guess if you, if you, you need four, four, if you play rough and you want to double play rough. Okay, nicely done. You can overheat and then, uh, but maybe the overheat wouldn't care with that range, but I think they could just play rough the Trev, but again, the new Pokemon, you want to make sure you KO it before they reach a Shadow Ball, so nicely done there. Yeah, obviously near the end of the season, it's very tough to find matches here. Okay. All right, they're looking to stay just a little bit here. Maybe they're going to try to catch the EQ. Okay. There's no chance this uh, Swamper will shield. Uh, for sh almost for sure, Hydro. Oh, they EQ'd here. Okay, it actually doesn't KO. Okay, going to throw here. They have the Hydro now, but I'm assuming they're going to go for the farm down. Okay. Oh, they actually elect not to throw there. I guess they thought they had a moment to decide there. Okay, well, that's really bad for Machamp. Because um, it does resist the counters, and the counters are neutral. Obviously, the Rock Slide is also neutral. So, I think you just shield this and counter it down. Uh, I don't think they can bait and make it to the move, so this should be a pretty safe counter down. And we are going to see... Ooh... Okay, they do end up sneaking a move through. Uh, the timing was a little bit weird there, but they have a chance to reset though. Uh, I think the sludge doesn't KO here. They actually dark pulse. Uh, maybe the sludge actually would have sludge me put a KO there. So uh, gonna throw another lunge here. Gonna switch out, and uh, this is looking really good here. Uh, I, I, I get, you throw the sludge right, sludge wave or gunk shot. Uh, it's neutral at this point in time. Going to throw the play rough. I'm assuming they're going to try to switch. Okay, no, they actually just, just give up this match here. It makes sense. Uh, Galarian Weezing was uh, pretty strong in the back there. Really nicely done. Buzzwall is also very, very strong there. If they had Poison Jab on their Amok, which is probably the more common moveset, then uh, this would have been uh, pretty problematic. Um, to deal with in the back well maybe maybe a little more problematic but they were not that they were in any trouble anyway so steelix into swamper let's see how they're gonna play this gonna go for the crunch makes sense because they're unlikely to shield and they'll need two hydros to ko yeah, I, I would be surprised by the EQ here because I think two hydros is the way to go. Okay, then you let's let this go here. Come in Buzzwall. Look to farm it all the way down. Oh, they actually... Okay, that actually worked out pretty nicely for them. That might allow them to get to two. Oh, some lag here. Okay. Uh, you're going to shield this first one and then look to farm down. I think you take the second one. Okay, wow, they already got to it. Um... Uh, yeah, that's totally fine though. Farm down here. And then we'll see what's in the back. Okay, gonna throw the lunch here. I actually don't like throwing the lunch here because um, I'm not sure what it does for you because they're just gonna switch. Yeah, yeah, they're just gonna switch here. This looks like it's gonna be game over. This is an icicle spear, but they just want chip damage. Uh, they realize they can just uh, shadow sneak down this. Uh, Weezing here, and they're, they're lagging like no tomorrow here. Wow, this is actually so bad here. I'm going to speed it up here because this, this match is definitely over. Okay, we have uh, Skunk Tank and Steelix. This is actually a really favorable matchup for Steelix. But though the charge moves don't really do any damage here, so... Uh, this is just a crunch. Okay, they throw choose to throw right away. Uh, they're five away from the next crunch. Five wooden jabs. Um, okay, going to reach another Psyche Fang. Doesn't KO. They have um, the crunch right now. They elect to switch here. Going to switch out into Galarian Weezing here. Man, this team absolutely loves to see Scrafty. In the back, at least. Uh 
Okay, I'm gonna throw before they reach another foul play. I'm gonna undercharge this. Oh, very nice undercharge. Doesn't need to worry about uh, these foul plays. They don't really do that much damage. Does chip away. Uh, Skunk Tank does have energy. Okay, they they elect to uh, uh, come into Trev. Let's see if they if they do end up shielding the overheat. Seed bomb here though. Or is that enough for the shadow ball? Is this seed bomb? Okay, they're gonna elect to switch here. I I don't really like this play here, but I think it's okay. Uh, the one shadow ball doesn't KO. Should be able to reach the lunge. Okay, they're gonna throw the lunge anyways into the skunk tank. Yeah, I don't love this play. Um, okay, go to Steelix here. They gotta make it to this crunch. Okay, gonna call. Well, I don't like the shadow ball KOs anyways, but they're gonna call the bait. I mean, the shadow ball would do a little bit more. Uh, it would do twice the damage. Is that right? Twice the damage. Um, maybe actually a little bit less than twice. Two C bombs do slightly more, right? Because they're 55, 55, 40, 55, and then versus 100. And then should be able to uh, fairy wind down. And then that fairy wind should be enough to take out the Trev. Actually, it wasn't enough. Uh, I don't know why it wasn't enough there. Or they liked coming in, but it didn't really matter. This game's over. Okay. Curious on how Ultra will change with all these uh, new Pokemon coming in. Uh, for for Great League, it basically reverted back to like pre Wall Rain um, meta, um, which is uh, a lot more Altaria, all that stuff. So, okay. Uh, kind of where you want to see it. Um, could catch on. Okay, they elect to throw right away. Uh, I'll say it could catch on, uh, on, um, glaring and wheezing, but you don't really have great counterplay versus it. Gonna let this go. Gonna do one more dragon tail, then throw it. Okay. They come into, uh, it's good to get this crunch off. Then you switch out. This uh, means that the play rough should be enough to KO. Not that you're like overly concerned yeah. versus um, a Giratina. They throw the Shadow Snake here. I think you have to count to five and throw. One, two, three, four. Eight. You're going to throw it four. Um, I think one more for the CMP tie would have been nice. Okay. They're, going, they're definitely going over, but you don't really need to be too concerned at this point in time. You do need to take it out with Glaring Weezing, though. And you do have to be worried about the clock because Buzzwall has a really terrible matchup versus uh, uh, Giratina. Oof. Okay, this is actually going to be quite bad here. Uh, do you let this go? Going to shield. They, they, they're kind of desperate at this point in time. Okay, they're actually able to get the play rough off, which is actually really critical here. Um, Gonna force him to throw onto the Steelix. Oh, actually able to make it a move. Makes sense. That's the correct play by uh by the opponent, because they need the there's really no point in throwing here into it. Uh that's no, absolutely game over here. And the opponent decides to leave, picking up some absolutely uh, fantastic uh, wins there. Some really fun uh, gameplay. Obviously, this team is weak to talent flame, but has a lot of really great uh, play and looks like a lot of fun and obviously really well played by the trainer if you like this video like comment subscribe and i'll see everyone in the next video